Here is the infant of Prague. Some of these can sell for a lot. 135 on the Jardinet. That's beautiful. These are interesting Disney ornaments. They're like gold dipped. Oh my gosh, look at him. Uh, that is, now they have it marked as Sweden. I could have sworn Blanco makes these. <gasps> look at the table that it's on. Look at that gorgeous inlaid double layer table. Gosh, it looks Italian. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Okay, this is my third stop on this little journey today. I have done two Goodwills in the previous two videos, but I was a little tired of thrifting and not finding any really good treasure. So I am over at the Antique Mall of America. Now I used to have space here and so I used to shop here a lot and I just realized I haven't been here for a very long time. So let's go in and see what treasures we can find. Now I'm staying in my super selective mode. So I'm going to stay away from the little cheap tchotchke things. I am looking for some really good glass or pottery. I'm kind of on a quest for that. Glass, pottery, something truly antique, something really unusual. That's the quest. Let's get in there. Let's see what we can find. Let's get shop done. The Antique Mall of America is located in, in southwest Las Vegas and it is down right off of Las Vegas Boulevard. It's right there and there's their sign. They're set in a little ways but it is probably the largest of the antique malls here in Las Vegas. So let's get in here and see what we can find. Oh, it's been a while since I've just really concentrated on some true, real cool vintage stuff. Look at these shell inlay pieces. Those are kind of gorgeous. 25 for the pair does not seem like a bad price. 50% off all furniture and decor, but it excludes firm. Those were marked firm. Ooh, look at those. Those are neat. Interesting, is it a vase that goes this way? Or is it a candle holder that goes this way? It could go either way. I almost feel like it's a vase that goes this way. I'm not seeing a price though. Prices, prices. Fortunately, we don't know how much they are for them to be half price. But I kind of want to find out because they're really spectacular. All right, they're going to contact the dealer and see how much those are. I'm crossing my fingers as I look at this guy. Ooh. $99, so he'd be 50. They're calling a Murano, let's see. Let's see, no, no, not Murano. That is a cloudy bottom. He's nice, but he's not Murano. It's probably not quite worth 50 bucks. Let's see what this one is. $19, and he'd be half price. That's really pretty. I really, I'm going to concentrate on like decorator pieces, pieces that are worthy of being put on cherish.com. That's C-H-A-I-R-I-S-H. Just have to spell that out. Make sure people go to the right place. <laughs> um, but that's the caliber I'm really trying to get back to. I kind of lost my way for just a little bit. And, uh, I want to get back to my roots of finding really good, good, good quality items. Mm, let's see. I think at an antique mall, you can have a really good quality item mixed with, you know, tchotchkes in these spaces. That is handmade in Denmark. It's a hunt. It's Baroneck. $125. So it'd be $62.50. It does say as is 
which does cause me some pause. Okay, we are just in the door, so we're definitely not going to be hasty in our decisions. That's a gorgeous piece of Lotz. $275. Not a bad price at all for that. <gasps> I've always wanted a piece of that, but it's not in my budget today. I am going to be looking in the cases a lot harder than I generally do because I'm really enjoying learning about quality jewelry and picking up some pieces like this is the piece that I find like super attractive. It's probably Lucite. <gasps> did I forget my black light? I think I did. I took it out of my purse to put new batteries in it and I didn't put it back in. I bet you that glows though. Oh, that's a beautiful piece right there. It actually looks like it might be like a tax co even. Tiger eye pendant. That one is sterling. It is $49 on that. And see, I just don't know if that's a good price. I just don't know. Look at this carved horn fish. I don't know, his eyes look a little too happy. It's almost, it's not googly eyes, but it's as close as you can get to googly eyes. He's $45, he's pretty spectacular. And this is a Cook Company Jumping Dolphin for 60. Uh, these Cook Company pieces sell for some pretty good money. They are marked, as you can see, and then they're usually marked on the bottom. I believe they're from the 70s. Let's see what we have here. This is kind of a boutique -y kind of a booth. They have a lot of clothing, hats, jewelry, that kind of thing mixed in here. What are, there's a whole bunch of little fashion earrings. Ten dollars. You know, little amethyst chips for ten. And that's about what I sell them for. Ten to twelve. Okay, let's look in here. Pretty set. Ooh, look at those little chandelier rhinestone earrings. Those are very nice. One of the things I always teach too is go to an antique mall and look at the things that have been identified, curated, look at the pricing, look at what the dealers know. You can basically get their knowledge, their information right there at your fingertips. Just saw the sign, 25% off. Was there anything over here I saw? I don't think so. I think I'm safe, but 25% off. And they have some really nice things in here. Like, look at this brace, this um, barrette. So it would only be $8, right? Yes, $8 for that beautiful antique barrette. Nice, nice celluloid vanity set. Very Art Deco. Actually, Art Nouveau. Look at the lines. That's more Art Nouveau than Art Deco. It's almost that transitional time frame where the Art Nouveau was uh, using some of the lines of Art Deco combined. Nice mesh purse. That one is sterling and a green stone. They don't know what kind of stone it is. I don't know what kind of stone it is. Do you know what kind of stone it is? There's another set, $60, so would it be 25% off of that? Here is the Infant of Prague. Some of these can sell for a lot. Oh, it's not for sale. It's a nice one too. Ooh, that's a very, very pretty perfume. It's missing its little atomizer, but it's really nice. It's not Murano. And really the, the bottom, the, the way it's made is what tells you that. This one doesn't have a flat polished pontal. It's got kind of an inset, which is more of a manufacturing pontal. That's pretty nice also. Okay. Oh, I love the look. I love the look of this booth and it's just so feminine. You know, it's just like it's very niched or niched, 
however you like to say it. I say niche. Many say niche. I'm okay with both. Oh, look how beautiful that is. It's cut to clear. It's 225, but it would be 25% off of that. That's a lot of math for me to do. It'd be under $200. That's a gorgeous, that's a gorgeous piece. <gasps> wow. Oh my gosh. Look at the Lucite purses. Oh my, my, my. Look at those. 310, 248, 299, 248. I love that one right there. That one's 288. Oh, these are fantastic. Oh, so awesome. And the perfume bottles. Holy smokers. Look at the perfume bottles. Wow. Goodness. So those prices are pretty spot on, um, like eBay prices. But even with the 25% off, it's just not, there's not enough meat on the bone there for me as a reseller. 135 on the Jardinet. That's beautiful. Look at these are very Erte. 49 on her. It's a flower frog. Absolutely fantastic. But I just don't think we're going to find anything for resale for us in this space. Let's see what we've got over here. Hmm. See, it's the tchotchke stuff that I'm really going to stay away from right now. We want high caliber. High caliber. Ooh, I like that name. High caliber. Okay, that's really funny. That's really funny. These are interesting Disney ornaments. They're like gold dipped. Oh, they're department 56. No, no, they're 50. They just say 50. That's Robin Hood. There's Donald Duck. They're all like 11 bucks. There's the dragon. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. I don't know. Who you are. These are like more contemporary Disney, although there is Bambi. And Simba. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh my goodness, the glass cellar is uh, pretty wiped out. This is their clear and white side of things. That looks very mid century, very Hager. They are asking 20 on that. Marked Made in USA. It looks a lot like the planter that I just picked up at the Goodwill I was at. That same kind of Hollywood Regency era. It's not bad for 20 bucks. Not bad. Might keep that one in my memory banks. And across the aisle, they have all their colors. But it appears they have not been here to maintain their booth for quite some time. Because it's been months since I've been here. And the lights were burned out back then. And they're still burned out. So, it's kind of a shame. Those are pretty glasses. Kind of a shame. But somebody's still buying up their glass. I just wish they would uh, restock. Kind of exciting to have a space that's like all glass. I've bought several pieces over the years out of this space. 25 on that. Orange mushroom pot. Oh, it does have mushrooms on it. Look at that. They used to have it like, I mean, it's still somewhat color blocked, but it looks like it's gotten a little mixed. It used to be so full and so color blocked. It was absolutely fabulous. Ooh, I see some more kitty cats. Let's see the set of cats for 50 black and white. Can't quite do 50 on those. Pretty piece of crackle glass. 
Oh, a little sleeping Indiana glass kitty dish. Let's see how much you are. $28. Oh, kitty. Oh, get back on her little jar. There you go. Oh, goodness. All right, there's some very, very cute owls. We will be doing an Owloween sale on Whatnot coming up soon. This is 79 Ginny's Statuary. He is $19. See, and I feel like that's right about where I would have to be like selling him, you know, 20 to 25. So can't pay 19. And that's the thing about going to an antique mall. I, there's hundreds, hundreds of dealers at this particular mall. And while some of the dealers, like I won't be able to wheel and deal and find things, there will be some that will be priced so great that I will be able to. But this is Jim Shore. Do you see how adorable this little Jim Shore bird is for $13? Do I need him? See, there's the little JS right there. I don't, I don't, I don't need him. I don't need him, and I don't think that's a good enough price for me to resell him. Oh, and then there's a cupboard of blue glass. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see what we've got in here. I just sold one of these. I can't remember what I got. Not too much more than that, though. Ooh. This is Victorian satin glass. Oh, you're pretty. $55, yes. And then the little duck. Little duck is 17. Yeah, just not, not quite where I can be as a reseller, but some beautiful glass at good prices. Yes, I see the turtle. I actually have that one. I have that turtle. I will share my turtle collection very soon. I've got almost all of them unpacked now. I'm just trying to get them all unpacked. I'm going very slow because I only do like one to two boxes or tubs a night. Those pretty 15. All right, we'll keep moving. Let's see what we have over here. They say they do take offers. Disneyland pin. I still have a bunch of Disneyland pins. They are in my nicheladyshop.com. I have not sold any, but generally that is not my clientele base. I don't really have a lot of the Disney collectors that shop for me, so those may need to go on eBay or whatnot. Actually, I'm going to be doing a Disney Whatnot sale, so that's probably well where they will end up, almost certainly. I'm trying to keep my eBay to a price point that makes sense for like paying all the fees and everything, too. Ugh. They're cute, but I'm going to resist. These look like Fontanini. They definitely are Italian. Yep, Fontanini. Italy, $15 each on those. Let's see. I think it's time to move to another booth and see if we can find some deals. All right, 30% off items, $25 or more, excludes firms. Those are cute. Oh, look. Is that the Berenstein Bears or just a hedgehog? I feel like it's just a hedgehog. Hedgehog taking a nap. These have a nice look. Let's take a peek at those. Small squatty base blue. Doesn't appear to have a lot of age on it. Looks like a more contemporary piece. Maybe even something you would find at Ikea. We have zebra, salt and peppers, 
brown pottery jar. It's like an old crock. Oh, look at you. <laughs> look at this chicken. Oh, he's kind of fantastic. It's a bank. These are banks. 45, 33 on the giraffe, but it would be 30% off. Oh, so it'd be like 23. I just can't, I can't do it. I can't do it as much as I want to. Let's see. Oh, wow. Look at those block art from South Africa. Very interesting. Okay, I went across the way. You know I love these things. That one's 12. That one's 12. That's a good price. That's a good price on those. Uh, but it's the kind of thing I'm not picking up here. But I have to look at this picture. It's, I believe it's supposed to be a whale. For 25. Black whale picture. Gosh, I love that. I love that so much. Hmm. I'm going to look him up. Oh, it's a super interesting piece because it has a very Jonathan Adler look to it. But it's not signed, so I think it's a knockoff of Jonathan Adler. Oh, I really love it. I just, I just don't think I can justify $25 on him, but I do, do love him. And this dragon, he's 30. I feel like prices have gone up just a wee bit. Probably because their rent has gone up just a wee bit. Everything's going up a wee bit. These are interesting. Salt and peppers. Look how huge they are. Girl with barrel. $18 for the set. They're huge. Like, they're like full on figurine size salt and peppers. Crazy. Oh, he's cute. Oh, he's always oh, lightweight. He's made of wood. I thought he was going to be pottery. He is $20. Found a dragonware vase. I have a lot of people always ask me to look out for dragonware, but it is $29. It just, just doesn't leave me enough to work with on that. But I do have to look at the turtle. It's a Bill Vernon turtle. I don't need another turtle. Oh yeah, there's several dragonware pieces. Oh goodness, there's the box. Cup and saucer. The box is 30. This little set back here is 20 for the is it a creamer and a sugar. Oh, it's missing its lid, that's why. Missing a lid. Very interesting though. Okay, we have another 30% off booth. Lots of kind of pop culture stuff. I'm not really into the pop culture stuff much at all. But that's doesn't mean that's all that's in here because there is glass. Look, they have a Murano glass horse. Hmm. Generally, things in cases are going to be priced up a little bit more than things out of cases. <gasps> I have a smaller version of that turtle. It's a trinket box. I don't need to buy any more. I just did it. I just bought two for myself. That's it. I'm on restriction now from self-buying. That is, now they have it marked as Sweden. I could have sworn Blanco makes these. I feel like it's Blanco and I wish there was a pair because they actually sell really well as a pair. See, lots of comic books and toys. I'm looking for the stuff that's kind of not that stuff. Oh, that's glass. I thought it was going to be plastic and it's not. They're glass. Hmm, $5. It's on a strange little chain though. Let's see. Oh, it's got earrings too. That's odd. Is it like made in China. Eh. 
He thought it was better than, oh, oh, and the, the gal who works here brought me this so that I can do, I can do this. I didn't get to check those beads yet, but I'll check them uh, before I check out. But she's like, here, use my black light. So. I know I'm really bad. I'm re I know, and I've had viewers send me black lights, and I have a really awesome one on a lanyard, and that's the one that I took it out of my purse, threw the batteries in it, and I forgot to put it back. Now, I just sold a blue version of this. It's Hazel Atlas. This one is $12. It's pretty scratched. The one I had was, oh, it is 30% off of that. But still, I'd rather get them for like $2 and sell them, you know, for $15. I think I got 20, I can't remember. I got 15 or 20 for it. So that's a good price. That's a good price on that. Hey, I see some Namaji. Namaji doesn't really excite me too much. What does that say? Rubens Originals. Nice little Hollywood Regency. I, I feel like that's where my eye is going today is for the Hollywood Regency stuff. And like the cute fun stuff but this is the stuff I'm not I'm not buying this I'm not doing it trying trying to upscale a little bit it's kind of a fun jewelry display like the whole thing spins around and then each thing spins around You know, this is where black light comes, you know, in handy because because then you can see when it does that. Aww. Let's see how much you are. Uh, it's not priced. Of course it's not priced. Goodness. Okay, we're gonna have to find out how much that one is. The prices are generally good, like six dollars and five dollars. Of course, that one's 35. I'll probably take something else up just so they know the dealer number on this. And then I can say, it's this dealer. I have him. I have that one. I just, I just unboxed my whole collection. I know actually what I have and I'm trying not to buy duplicates now. Put some fun art there. It's a Goddard. Look at this purse. $29. That is so fun. Right. Of course, can you tell I am a colors girl? Oh, it's is it Liz Claiborne? Is that what I see? It is. No, 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 no. Angela Frascone. I saw a long name and thought it. Angela Frascone. Frescone, however you say that. It's hers. Hmm, they are 20% off. Which is kind of a cute bag. Let's see what we've got over here. Lots of costumey stuff. Alright. I said I was going to focus on glass and pottery glass and pottery and cool antiques but there's so much jewelry that just keeps kind of pulling me and distracting me and saying look at me All right we'll look we'll look oh that's pretty it's like a mosaic hmm can't see a price I am sure it is not in my price range What are those? Are those little knife holders? They are. Little French, uh, what do you call those clowns? Um, Perros? Are they Perros? Those are, those are fabulous. Hmm. Oh, those are some nice beads. Beautiful beads. It shows you the possibility of what jewelry can do and that is why I am 
so excited to be learning. It's also so easy to ship. <laughs> that is gorgeous. You are what? Gosh, it's dark in this booth. Mm, I can't make that out. Can't make it out. R and S. I see R and S though. <gasps> Look at the table that it's on. Look at that gorgeous inlaid double layer table. Gosh, that looks Italian. <gasps> That's amazing. Is that even for sale? It is. Let's see what they're calling it. Sandalwood Etergé. $1,300. Ooh, I guess I have good taste. Yeah, we have another 25% off sale. 10% off those marked firm. We have a piece of that at the store. Something really, really similar. No, that's soapstone. The one we have is like a porcelain. Look at these door knockers. Holy smokers, that is a huge, huge door knocker. $450. That's amazing. These look authentic. They look like Hubleys. There's lots of repros out there. But just the the rust on these, the wear looks like they are genuinely old. I'm sure somebody could do that and uh, fool you with it, but why would you? Why would you want to do that and put that much wear on there? It doesn't seem like that would be beneficial for the sale another dragon wear it's 20 oh, 60 dollars on that beautiful piece those are interesting 39 dollars on those look at those beads that's um 30 dollars that one they're calling those Murano could be they're pretty quality oh wow look at these these are Murano Murano fish see the gold of entering in there the high quality workmanship I bet they're pretty smooth on the bottom clear as a bell yeah look at look at the workmanship in there mm -hmm. those are nice very nice So I talk about Herond lookalikes a lot. Here is a genuine piece of Herond. You can see the pattern on it. You can also even see from here the quality on this piece. It's behind a locked case, so I'm not gonna get it out, but 175 for a little shell like that. Spot on. Oh, look at that mid-century lamp. Oh, that is stunning. I don't even have a table lamp anywhere. I have no place to put a table lamp. I love that. And then they got the mid-century ashtray right there. Oh, look at those tables. That's tollware. And that's just fabulous. Okay, two different eras, but kind of the same kind of a table. She's cute. It's coming over here. This is another thing you hear me uh, talk about a lot is this textured pottery, very, very mid-century. This is the real thing. Some of the more modern versions of this are not quite so chunky, and, and they're they're almost too perfectly applied where you see like the different variations of this they're asking $21.99 which seems to be a very good price oh that lights up from behind oh that is so cool i like it i don't like the color of the whole thing but i like the fact that it lights up and they've got changing colors back there and then let's see, we've got a little cherry set, Westmoreland, 20 bucks for that. And this one is, looks like olives. Doesn't quite look like a blueberry. Oh, so fun. So fun to see the variety of stuff. This is another mid-century piece. This drip glaze was so popular. I'm leaning toward this being hall, but it's not marked hall but they did a lot of that. Just marked them made in USA. Wow. Look at these. 
polka dot mushroom is it just it's just a polka dot mushroom it doesn't do anything but look cute that's it it's a glass mushroom that just looks cute that one is uh, 49 the smaller one is 45 those are great oh my goodness you might remember me a while back I found a pair of earrings by this artist here it is lunch at the Ritz they're all just absolutely fantastic. Uh, they're asking $195 on the fish, $86 on the Mardi Gras, and these are solar, solar and stars. That one's $225, and then $105 for the Solar Sorbet, which doesn't have its card, but I love these. So this is why I'm always telling you too, it's come to a place like an antique mall where it's absolutely identified and so when you're looking like at the goodwill or and you're looking in the case and you see like a, a pair of earrings like that and you're like uh you know those don't really like spark joy in me but then you can remember oh wait this was attributed to uh heidi douse and then you can pull them out look i'm sure they're marked and then you know you have like a 50 dollars pair of earrings so that's how you learn that's how you learn and that's why i love coming to the antique mall and looking at things and getting my hands on things that I may not get an opportunity to in other places. Look at that chair. Janet Jackson chair. That's kind of crazy. Look at this incredible piece of Van Briggle. It is $900. Uh, I don't know if you can tell the size. There's like a, I mean, that's, that's not a small vase. It's huge and it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Look at these old, how the owner manual books, Crosley. Look at the artwork on that, 1949 Italian recipes, the wonderful world of cooking, baking secrets from 1942. These are in really good condition too. Really, really good condition. Year-round preserving. How to run a successful party. <laughs> Royal success in banking. Oh, in baking, not banking, baking. <laughs> That's from 1942. Oh, these are fun. Oh my gosh, look at her. Look at those fancy ladies. So fun that this stuff gets preserved. Brer Rabbit, Rabbit's Modern Recipes, 1940s. The 1940s, that was a, that was a time for ephemera. I don't see too much else in this booth. Those are really pretty uh, seagull plates by Bing and Grondel. Thirty dollars. Is that for the pair? I think that's just for one. I like them. I like them a lot. Oh goodness! I just picked up a all-white version of this. This one is eighteen dollars. Now the one I picked up was not Royal Copley. This one is Royal Copley. It's eighteen dollars. Oh, it's so pretty. I feel like Rachel would like this one too. I could put this away. Christmas is not that far away. I could start Christmas shopping. I can justify it that way. Look at these fabulous doggies. Those are amazing. Cast iron. It's 2,500. And then this wolf, look at him. Oh my gosh. Life-size gray wolf, $800. And then there's this piece of art. Oh my goodness. What is this little chicky noodle doing? I can't tell if it's happy or sad. It's yoga chick. Okay, all right, it's yoga chick. It's happy. Oh, if that was blue, I would be in so much trouble right now. That's $1,900. Okay, I wouldn't be in that much trouble. I can't spend $1,900 on a light fixture. Got some Mickey Mouse glasses. Those look vintage. Oh, that bouquet of roses looks so real. Look at those petals. 
It's like that's what they look like when you set them down on the counter. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, those look like Fitz and Floyd. Are they? I gotta set my little dove down. Let's see if you are. Doesn't say no, it's cute. No, I think that is the dealer. Pigs and overalls. They have such a Fitz and Floyd look to them. Nope, they are Department 56. Department 56, little piggies. They want $20 for them. This is kind of a fabulous piece of glass. Look at the cutouts. It's usually done with Polish glass. And then it's got like the, the ombre thing going and it's cased. That's really nice. $40. Seahorse is nice too. Oops, got a book resting on him. It's mounted on a block of wood, so we can't really see the base. $20. He's kind of spectacular. This looks a bit newer. Yeah, that's contemporary. Indeed. Oh, Charlie Brown and the Great Pumpkin. Oh, this is always a sad thing to see, but let's take a peek if we can find some things for 50% off because I see some necklaces with some really nice pendants. The cords are, are nothing great, but I do like the opalite and I do like the malachite. Let's see. The sodalite is pretty. We'll get that one too. And I'm not the quartz. Oh, there's two sodalites. Oh, what's this one? Is that like a labradorite or a, a fluorite? That's fluorite. We'll get that one. Okay, let me make a little pile. Mahogany obsidian. That's very nice. Strawberry quartz. Okay. We'll grab those. All right, I probably should get both of the soda lights. I got one, I should get them both. Oh, there's another Malachite. And I will probably just put these straight into my shop. Or they might end up on whatnot. I'm not sure yet. Oh, there's another soda light. I feel like the soda light people like because it's blue. Oh, there's another fluorite. I'm not a big fan of the gold stone. It's a simulated stone. So we'll leave that one. Let's hang this one back up for them though. I don't really think that's turquoise. That looks like simulated turquoise. All right, I just turned around in the case and there's these beautiful owls made of gemstones. They would only be $10 each. I'm gonna grab all three of those too. Oh, there's some other really pretty pieces. There is a wire wrapped, looks like either serpentine or turquoise. I'm gonna look at that one. Look at that one that looks like a wing back there. This one, I don't like the look of that turquoise so much. There is a cuff bracelet right there. These are artisan pieces. They're beautiful artisan pieces. Oh yeah, there's a goldstone angel wing, which means that other angel wing is probably the same price. <gasps> look at that cuff. It's all half price because they are clearing the space. So. I am going to get some help and get into this case and see. Oh, look at that blue lapis. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. I bought way too much from that booth to uh, include it all like in the recap. It'll be in the deep dive portion. I probably won't like spell it all out in the recap. I'll, I'll give some generalities, but it's all going to show up in the niche lady shop coming soon. But I was looking at, look at this owl glass owl decanter. I guess it's a yeah, it's almost like a tumble up. Ooh, some jadeite. Are you the brand that glows? You are not. You are not the glowing brand. There is a brand that does not glow. And then there's a brand that glows like the Dickens. Ooh, that's a good price for that gemstone glow. $30. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, there's a radio plane in here, so I won't be able to stay in here too long, but I have to look at him. Oh, he's so amazing. I can't leave him behind for $22. He is marked. 
on the bottom down here. Let's see. There's this little mark. Something's rattling inside him. That does not bother me. He's amazing. Look at that jade bouquet. That's gorgeous. And then you've got the the French marquetry inlaid dresser. Oh, stunning. Stunning. Some fancy stuff in that booth. Now we've got another 25% off booth, but I have to be careful now. I'm I'm pretty topped out. I, I bought a lot at that one um, because it'll be very, oh, gruesome. Uh, it'll be very, very easy to list all of that stuff uh, on my new format. Oh gosh, there's some more pretty, pretty stones. I love Labradite. Labradite is one of my favorites. Selenite. Ooh, all the selenite sticks. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Newer stuff. I see newer stuff. I like the cage. I'm not particularly fond of the taxidermy bats in the cage, but it's an interesting concept. Okay. I am not even halfway through this mall, but I don't want this to be a two hour video. Therefore, I'm going to cut off right here and you can come back tomorrow to see part two of this fantastic shopping excursion at the Antique Mall of America. So things didn't go quite as I planned and I was not able to do a deep dive today uh, because I left those items at the Good Stuff thrift store and a funny thing happened on my way to the store today. Uh, my car died. So, the juice box is on its way to the mechanic. I'm having to rent a car, but that doesn't leave any time to get a deep dive done. But fortunately, this is a two-part video and I will have everything deep dived and recapped on the second half. So please hit that subscribe button and come back tomorrow for part two. So with that, you go be profitable and make it fun. See you tomorrow.